So what was going on at that time was I needed to go to the dentist because I have another medical condition um, that required me to have sanction from the dentist that they could treat. I was not good around dentists, even the thought of dentists wasn't good. So let alone going and then choosing to go to the hygienist. It got to a point where I couldn't avoid going to the dentist anymore. I tried complete aversion, i.e. don't go. Just don't go to the dentist, which is not a very sensible um, strategy. I tried self-hypnosis, that didn't work. I think I was slightly sceptical. Um, I wanted it to work, but sometimes wanting something to happen doesn't necessarily mean it is going to happen. Um, and was hugely at ease with the whole process and the fact that I could go to the dentist. So I'm not quite sure what Chris did, but it worked. Felt reassured when I came out. I didn't have any of those physical or emotional reactions as a consequence of, and I could conjure those, I could create those just at the thought, um, and they don't exist anymore. I have been to the dentist, and I've been to the hygienist twice or three times since, because obviously I've never been to the hygienist. It's the first time that I've been conscious in the dentist since university. There's no fear, there's no anxiety, and I don't cry anymore. <laughs> Just a huge thank you um, to Chris, because as I say, I think um, working with anybody who has a fear or a phobia is difficult. It's given me a huge lease of life and actually some medical reassurance, so thank you. If you have an issue that you need sorted, and it doesn't matter how long it's been there, then go and see him because um, it just gives you a new lease of freedom that you would not have had otherwise. So thoroughly recommend.